Okay, I'm out front of this place on Chimney Peak, and I just wanted to give you a view of the neighborhood. So it's kind of on this corner in the road, but all the houses in here, super well kept. They're all bigger, three car garages. Um, it's a really nice, quiet subdivision. Um, this is the house right across the street. And then <clears throat> there's actually just some open green space across the way. It's not a park. I think it might be like a, a drainage area for... They have irrigation water here. So, um, but it, it's it's nice not having a house like directly across the street. So anyhow, um, yeah, just wrapping around the corner here. And you can hear it's super quiet, but this is the house. Um, landscaping's great. The house looks like it's in really great shape. Um, but anyhow, uh, there's a little patio up front here covered patio it's probably 12 by 5 feet something like that and then as you walk in here it's got a really nice alder door um, and then just to give you a feel for the layout as you walk in uh, there's a coat closet immediately to the left um, you've got laminated floors throughout and then you've got your kitchen and dining obviously straight ahead and then there's uh, like a, a formal kind of living room right here and they haven't said it more casually but um, 12 foot ceilings at the peak and uh, as we walk through here um, to the left are the stairs and there are three bedrooms uh, and two bathrooms up the stairs and uh, as I come through over here uh, if I look to the left you've got uh, another family room and then there's uh, another bedroom and laundry and the garage back through that way so I'm gonna start right here in the kitchen and just give you a view. Uh, lots of counter space. It's got, I think these are marble countertops, but they're in really good shape. Uh, really cool tile backsplash and uh, good sized kitchen. I mean, the kitchen is probably 12 by 12 feet from wall to wall, but it's, it's really nice. The backsplash is nice. The cabinets are all in good shape. Um, you've got a big pantry here in the corner probably about four by four feet, but lots of storage in there. It, just, it feels really open. Uh, and then just to give you a feel for the backyard, you've got a nice big covered patio here. It's probably 20 by 10 feet. There is a little fountain in the corner and then they've got a hot tub on the side of the house as well. So there's a hot tub and then their air conditioner over on the side there. Um, you get a look at the air conditioner. Yeah, and the, the air conditioner looks like it is new. I went and checked in the furnace and the water heater are less than a year old. Uh, they're about a... Actually, no, they're less than a year. They were in 2020. Um, so anyway, uh, the backyard itself, pretty basic backyard, but um, it's good size. Plenty of space back here to play around or... Obviously, they've got some kid stuff set up. Um, and then on the side over here... <clears throat> Just a little concrete pad and enough space if you wanted you could park an rv or a trailer back here which a lot of people here have trailers and that kind of stuff so yeah nice quiet backyard and back into the house um, head over this direction so back here into this family room this room is about 12 by 20 also and you've got a gas fireplace in the corner and it's got shiplap up top and there's a marble surround that kind of echoes that same finish that the the uh countertops have a little storage closet underneath the stairs here and then in the back here they've got uh it's set up like a craft room but this is one of the bedrooms this room is about 12 by 12 feet window overlooking the backyard and they've got a murphy bed set up in here and then a walk-in closet here that's about five by five feet probably. Um, and then if I turn right down this hallway, you've got your laundry room in here. And this room is about six by eight, probably good size laundry room, um, some storage shelving there. And then directly across the hall, you've got a bathroom. It's got nice tile floors and uh, about a 30 inch vanity and some wallpaper. And then you've got a bathtub back here that's uh, just a fiberglass one piece surround but this bathroom is about five by probably five by eight feet something like that and then right next to it you've got your garage 
So it's a three car garage. Um, there's a little space on the side over there for storage. They've got some shelving and stuff. You've got a gas water heater and your gas furnace. Um, both of them are pretty new. Uh, you can see here the water heater was replaced just last October. And it looks like the furnace was replaced. What's the date on there? Um, also in October. So they had all that redone in October. I'm guessing that water heater was done at the same time. Um, there's your motor for central vac. So it's got a central vac system. There's a little side door over here that goes over to where I showed you the RV parking was. Uh, this third bay, they've converted it into a little office space. So the back end of the third bay um, is right here and they've got some storage. And then they built uh, a little office space in here. So this, this room, um, you can see there's the garage door right there. So it's not completely framed in. But uh, this room's probably somewhere, it's a 10 by 10, maybe a little bit smaller than that. But um, I'm sure most people could probably find a, a good space for this as an office or a little playroom or man cave or a she shed or whatever. But anyhow, if you wanted that third bay, it would be easy enough to get rid of that also. So that is all of the downstairs space in the house. Um, so we'll head upstairs and basically the whole downstairs, except for that bedroom has this same laminate in it. Uh, as we head up the stairs, got carpet. I'm guessing the carpet is probably original to the house. Um, it looks like it's in good physical shape. Uh, it maybe could use a little bit of a cleaning, but it's got some life left in it. So when we get to the top of the stairs, if I turn right, uh, master bedroom, and then directly across from me is a hall bath. And then to the left, you've got two other bedrooms. So... I'm just going to start with this bedroom right here. Um, bedroom's probably about 10 by 12 feet. This window overlooks the front of the house, so you can get a feel for it. Um, and then we've got a closet back in the corner there, pretty basic bedroom. And then right next door, you've got another bedroom that it's a little bit bigger than that last one. I would say this one's about 12 by 12. It's a little wider. Uh, another window just overlooking the front of the street. And you've got another closet right there and the bathroom. So here's your hall bath. Uh, it's got a 30 inch vanity. Uh, let me get the light on here. Oh. And just rolled vinyl flooring. And the, the vanity is, uh, it looks like it's oak and it's just got a laminated top. So pretty basic finishes in, in this bathroom. And then I think it's the same. Yeah, you've got the same one piece fiberglass shower surround and behind the door there is a little linen closet there as well um, so next door is the master and the master it's it's nice it's not huge but it's big enough uh, this is a king size bed just for your reference um, there's a bay window here you probably can't tell from here but it it kind of juts out so a little bit of a bay window there that overlooks the backyard and I'll just step back a little bit to give you a view. Um, your closet's back in that corner. There's your bat master bathroom. And the ceilings are vaulted in here too. So it actually feels a lot bigger than it is. The ceilings are about 12 feet there at the peak. Um, closet. It's about 8 by 6 probably. But plenty of built-ins and storage in there. Uh, and then the bathroom right next door. Got a double vanity. That's a six foot double vanity. Um, it's probably original to the time the house was built. We've got the same rolled vinyl flooring as the bathroom next door. Uh, and then the same setup. This is uh, just an oak vanity with laminated top. So there aren't any big upgrades in the master bathroom. It's pretty simple, but spacious enough. And then you've got the same fiberglass tub insert. And again, right behind the door, there is another little linen closet. So. Anyhow, that is this place on Chimney Peak.